Hello everybody, welcome to another tarot reading. My name is Amber and this is Earthy Indigo. I hope that you're doing very well today or tonight or whenever it is that you are tuning in to this reading. Before we jump into the reading, just a few quick announcements. If you would like to book a personal reading with me or purchase any of my merch, you may do that through my website, earthyindigo.com, where you can shoot me an email. The information of that is listed in the description box below. If you are interested in art inquiries, then um, send me an email just in the subject line, put art so I know it's for art and not for tarot. Um, Timestamps will be listed down below. If you want to jump around, do feel free to do that. Um, before we jump into the tarot portion of the reading, I do have some channeled messages. Um, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to come across it is when you were meant to hear these messages. With that being said, I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy. Um, apply how it resonates for you. Do use your own discernment and intuition. Do also please keep in mind that I am not a licensed medical provider, therapist, lawyer, or financial advisor. So if you are um, looking for any advice in any of those categories, this is not the right video for you. Um, please do seek professional advice for any and all of those subjects. I do resonate with being a light worker, a star seed, an indigo, and a divine feminine. Uh, and I do channel messages for those collectives. All right, we get a lot of love messages, a lot of love readings here um, on this channel. Um, it, I have playlists on my channel if you want to go check out some of the other stuff that I, um, some of the other videos if you're not here looking for love. But anyway, let's go ahead and um, jump right into this. I think I said everything that I needed to say. Um, so we're going to start with the channeled messages here. Um, I have a lot of songs, um, a lot of songs. Um, so. I will leave the links to the music videos in the description box below. Um, I do recommend that you uh, listen to or watch the video of or look at the lyrics of the songs, whichever ones call out to you, because I do feel like there are additional messages within any um, songs that come through here. So, and we got we got so many today. I think this I think we set a record today. Um, all right. So the first song we have is "Wheel in the Sky" by Journey. Then Kundalini Energy by Samantha Leah, Diamonds by Rihanna, Sexy and I Know It by LMFAO, Cold as Ice by Foreigner, and Duality by Slipknot. A very vast array of genres um, within the music. So I honestly kind of like that <laughs> because I feel like um, there's something for everybody. Uh, there's interesting energies, too, with the different songs. So, again, use your own discernment, whichever one calls out to you. Um, yeah. So, we have colors. I got two colors. I got blue and orange, and I usually associate those with chakras, but for some reason today, um, I felt like they were associated with sports teams or a sports team. Um, maybe the NFL, because I do know that the Super Bowl is coming up, um, if you're here in America. The Super Bowl is coming up soon, so I don't know what teams are going. Um, but blue and orange may be a color um, for somebody of one of their teams. I don't know. Um, blue could also be a favorite color. I was feeling like blue could be a favorite color. I was also kind of feeling like somebody might just like the combination of blue and orange. Like the way that those two go together. Kind of like green and purple. Like, you know, they it's a... I don't know, it's like harmonious. They go together. Anyway, um... So take that how that resonates for you. It could also be the heart chakra or the um, the sacral chakra. Kundalini energy. <laughs> that could be applicable for somebody here. Um, with the kundalini energy song coming through and then the color orange, sacral chakra. Yeah. Um, all right. So then I also got the ocean. Um, specifically the Pacific Ocean or like a cold ocean. One that is cold. Um, so like not like the Caribbean or something like that. Um, and then when I got that, I was feeling um, the king of cups here. So um, somebody could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be the case. Um, somebody might associate with the king of cups. Like that might be their signi significator if, they re if you re-tarot yourself. Um, that might be something that you consider to be like a significator of you, representing you. Um, somebody could also just be like kind of like either, I feel like for honest, for honestly, okay, that was weird. For some, honestly, it's like, um, it's kind of like wanting to disconnect from feelings. Um, again, I'm seeing the King of Cups where he's just like on the island, like all by himself, you know, like 
it's his island and he owns it, but he's literally like on an island all by himself. Sort of like keeping the waves at bay, keeping the emotions at bay. I don't know how to like really explain it. Um, we'll see if it comes back out we'll, or we'll see if it comes out here. Um, I also got Do You Boo and Busy Bee Baby. So um, Do You Boo, that's kind of self-explanatory. And then somebody might be like, really busy right now or might be becoming really busy soon um okay so we have two decks today we have the um everyday witches and then the witches tarot we are going to start with the okay i guess we're going to start with the witches tarot because that one wanted to come out i was gonna start with the everyday witches and clarify with the witches tarot but it looks like we're gonna shake things up today so what came out are you kidding me are you kidding me it's the king of cups oh my god i freak myself out sometimes are you kidding me all right y'all all right y'all here we go <laughs> so this could definitely be you you could resonate with being a divine masculine don't have to you could be a water sign um for sure like gosh, i just i'm honestly feeling like somebody might be emotionally cold or like maybe it's not like maybe that's too harsh of like a way of saying it um, I'm just feeling like the cold, like when you're next to a cold ocean, you know, like the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean or something. And it's like, it's just, it's cold. You know what I mean? And it's kind of rocky too. Um, like the coast, it's sort of like rocky versus like being like Sandy. Um, anyway, the name Sandy might be applicable for somebody. I'm just kind of getting the sense of like somebody might be... Um, yeah, four swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody might be like withholding their emotions or maybe there's just like something they don't want to feel or something they don't want to acknowledge. We'll see. Somebody might be being cold. Maybe being perceived as being cold. Hmm. Um, there's dolphins in the background too. Dolphins might be significant for some. And there's like seaweed being washed up on the on the waves it's almost like there's some sort of i'm kind of honestly getting a feeling like somebody might be running from some sort of a feeling i don't know if this is you or if this is somebody that you're dealing with apply how it resonates but let's get some more uh why is the king of cups here tell me more tell me more six of swords six of swords somebody is moving away from something we have the king of wands interesting Wow. Um, this might be a love reading, you guys. We have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. That's followed by the High Priest, which is followed by the Queen of Cups. And then the Hermit, the Two of Cups, Justice. Um, we might be talking about some sort of a connection here. We'll see what else comes out. Um, somebody's moving away from something. Somebody might be moving away from being emotionally distant. That would make sense. So somebody might be moving from a king of cups to a king of wands, which is somebody that's kind of like more, um, they're more action oriented. So maybe like somebody's made a decision. Somebody might've made a decision here. Could it be I kind of am getting this feeling like the King of Cups and the King of Wands is the same person, masculine or feminine. Um, it's it's almost like this is an energy that this person's embodying. They're moving away from something. They're moving towards this King of Wands energy. The High Priest here, um, this could have something to do with a community. For some, it could have something to do with the community. Um have something to do with like it could have something to do with contracts this could also have something to do with spirituality um or religion depending on what you resonate with could be a marriage as well or a committed relationship somebody might be moving away from a committed relationship or making a decision to get married to a queen of cups huh 
honestly, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. For some of you, I kind of feel like somebody might be making a decision to commit. To somebody somebody that they feel is their counterpart now this could be in like any sense this could be in the sense of like taking the initiative to like ask that person out um, taking the initiative to move in together to get engaged um, to actually get married for some For some, they're making a decision to move out. Of an engagement. For some, I kind of feel like it's an engagement. Somebody might be breaking an, an engagement. Um, I feel like this decision is something that has taken a long time. Like it's with the hermit here, it's kind of something where that's kind of probably why this King of Cups was sitting on his own. He might have been sitting like in his emotions, maybe contemplating, thinking about making a decision to make some sort of commitment towards his Queen of Cups. Now, when I'm saying things like masculine, feminine, he, she, I'm just talking about the energies. You can apply whatever gender resonates for you. And I'm saying he with the king because it's a king um, and it's a masculine energy on the card. And then I'm saying uh, she with the queen because it's a queen and a feminine energy on the card. So again, flip it, switch it, reverse it, whatever you got to do. But that's how I'm feeling here. Um, it feels to me like this king of cups here, we'll say this masculine energy because it's the king of cups and the king of wands. So this masculine energy has been contemplating taking some sort of an action. I feel like maybe they were thinking about their feelings. Maybe they were trying to think about, that makes sense. I feel like this person's been sitting, been contemplating their feelings and now they've decided to take some sort of action to move towards a commitment with somebody they consider to be their counterpart, because we have the two of cups here too. Somebody that they think is their soulmate. Yeah, we have, with justice here too, um, this could they could actually like this could literally be talking about marriage. Somebody might um just like pop a, pop the question here. Um for others, this is something to do with like um karma being balanced. It, I feel like this King of Cups has balanced some sort of karma. It had to do with getting in touch with his emotions. Because fire and water here, wands is fire, cups is water. Fire and water, that's opposites. These are opposite. It's almost like, um, it's like a battle of wills almost, like an internal battle of wills, of will. Like two opposing sides of like the same personality, you know? interesting okay let's get some clarity up in here let's get some clarity please okay so i think we should figure out who this queen of cups is first so we can kind of like know what direction this is. This is obviously talking about a romantic connection of some sort. I'm going to say it that way. Apply how it resonates for you, but two of cups here. King and queen of cups. The high priest. Come on, y'all. Taurus. We have Taurus energy and Virgo energy um, with the hermit and the high priest. So who is this queen of cups? Is this... Um, yeah, who's this queen of cups? The five of pentacles and it wanted to come out in the reverse. Did this king of cups leave this queen of cups out in the cold? Oh. So, oh. We have the high priestess. We have the high priest and the high priestess. And the king and the queen of wands. And the two of cups. I think this... <laughs> Y'all, I think this um, masculine energy left this Queen of Cups out in the cold. And they've been, they're thinking about it or they've been thinking about it. Um, they're thinking, of, for some, maybe this is a reconnection. They're thinking about coming with communication. <laughs> 
Maybe they ghosted. And maybe the masculine ghosted the Queen of Cups. That's weird. The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Um, we're going to get back to this. So, I'm going to do like this. I'm going to put the Queen and the King up here. And we're going to get this here. I'm going to go like this. If you're wondering, this is not a spread. I'm just doing what, what I'm feeling, what I'm being intuitively called to do. Um, so we've got the king and the queen, the king and the queen with the two of cups up here, these guys down here, because I feel like this is talking, this is more of like a story. This is a soulmate connection. This could be a divine counterpart connection. Um, so why is the six of swords here? Why is the six of swords here? The Four of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. I really think this masculine ignored this feminine energy. I don't know if this is like past, present, or future. It's going to be applicable. It's going to resonate how it's going to resonate. Um, I feel like... Okay, honestly, so... I'm getting two different messages here for some of you this is somebody that might be coming in um that like maybe you start talking to or you take go out on a couple of dates here and i think that they might ghost um for some of you this person might ghost in some way they could have somebody else they might be in a, another connection or be connecting with somebody else that's only going to resonate for a few of you for others of you this could be somebody from your past who ghosted or left you out in the cold, they walked away, you're not in communication. Um, may have been somebody that you had worked with, but that doesn't have to be the case. Um, and they want to come back. I feel like they, they, for some, they might be feeling bored in their own situ in their situation. They might be in another connection and they're bored in that connection. Maybe that connection that they're in is just like a money-based thing. Maybe there's no really like emotions because it's the king and the queen of cups that came out. That's an emotional counterpart. Those are emotional counterparts. Also, when a king and a queen of the same suit come out, that's a freaking power couple. That's a power couple. Both of these individuals can fill their own cup. That's how you have the two of cups situation, though, for real, though, because you can't have the two of cups at the, like, these two cups that they're toasting right here, they're full. It's these two. It's the king and the queen of cups. You have to, they, I can't get this out. Sorry, hold on, give me one second to, like, organize my thoughts. Um, you have to fill your own cup so that you can come into a connection with your own cup filled and their own cup filled. That way you're not, like... If you're coming in, like, with a half-filled cup, then you're going to be expecting the other person to, like, fill it for you. Does that make sense? I hope that made sense. Um, there's a lot of messages that are coming through, so it's kind of like, it, they come in fast sometimes, and it's hard to, like, um, slow it down. By the time I get one message out, there's, like, three more that want to come that are right behind it, like, anyway. That could be applicable for some. For others of you, maybe they ignored. I don't know. I feel like they're bored. I feel like they're bored in the connection they're in and they want to move away from it. There could be some sort of distance here. I feel like they could be thinking about. For some, it's like they're trying to like, they're like wishing for something better. Or they want to like manifest something better. It could be this connection. For others of you, um, if this is somebody new, I feel like this person wants to come in because they're bored. Maybe they don't have. Maybe they're not having enough connections in their own life or the person they're connecting with is boring or something like that. They're bored and that's why they're hitting you up. Um, silly. Why is the high priest here? Why is the high priest here? The devil. Capricorn. 
Capricorn energy coming out. Whoa, we have a high, the Empress. We have the Empress. Taurus and Libra. Three of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, if this is a past connection, this person hurt you. Sorry. They walked away. I think they walked away. They could have, they, pro they were probably heartbroken too. I mean, connections don't end without both parties being, you know. Unless it's a case where, if this is a, the new situation, if this is a new connection that's coming in here, the double here, I mean, do you need much more of a warning? The devil over the high priest? Come on now. Use your intuition. For some of you, like, you already have an intuitive, like, feeling about this person. Um, because you're an empress or an emperor, male or female. It's a karmic. If this is a new person coming in, they're, they're a karmic. Could be a false twin. They might want money. They might, might want money. They might be really sweet at first, too. They might come in with some sort of gift. But look, too, see, like, the cats, even the cats, they're trying to warn these people. They're like, don't, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Some of you, oh, I just thought this is an interesting message. So for some of you, if this is a past connection, I feel like this masculine took wrong advice. They listened to the wrong advice. It could have been somebody in their community. It could have been somebody in, like, their spiritual organization or if they go to church, like, something like that. Like, it was somebody that they, um... Somebody that had some sort of, I want to say like leadership role. My left hand is itching. That's um love. They had some sort of leadership role in like their, this person's spiritual community or like um, maybe it was like, like if they went to church, it was like their pastor or their priest or something like that. They were given wrong advice. They were told to stay away. It's something to do with money. I feel like this person was told that this Queen of Cups was um, like a volcano about to erupt because there's this volcano back here. I feel like that, I feel like they got bad advice. Um, but that, you know, cause this per, the Queen of Cups is the Empress. Okay, so why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? For some of you, maybe this person was into Six of Cups. Hmm. Six of Cups, Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I put the deck down and the Lovers wants to pop out and then I see sticking right here the Empress. Um, so this, this is only going to resonate for some, but I'm kind of getting this feeling like maybe the masculine was sort of involved in some spiritual stuff that maybe wasn't, um, maybe was low vibrational, you know, it was, um, Just read the card. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that. You can, you know, apply that how that resonates for you. Maybe this person has realized that no, I feel like it's possible that they were given poor advice. Maybe they got a reading. Maybe they got a reading and they were given wrong advice. I don't know. There's somebody in this person's energy that is nefarious. I feel like it has something to do with some sort of spiritual, something spiritual or religious. It's going to be different for everybody. It's whatever you apply, whatever you apply, whatever you resonate with. This person may have been somebody that they, this, per, this masculine could have known, this high priest. Because I feel like the high priest is, is the devil, to be honest with you. Like I'm feeling like this third energy coming in here, like this high priest right here is this devil energy. Um, this is, like I said, this is like a spiritual leader of some, of some kind, um, some sort of like spiritual leader in a community, like this masculine, I feel like followed or trusted them. Like they went to them for advice on it. And this high priest 
this high priest devil energy gave them wrong advice. They told them that this person, that this queen of cups, was not the empress. But they were, they are. They got hurt. It hurt them. I feel like it hurt the masculine. I feel like it hurt the masculine to hear that. Um, because I, like, when with the lovers here, too, and the two of cups, like, I feel like this, like, Honestly, like, I kind of feel like this masculine got heartbroken when he heard that. And the Nine of Swords, this brings me back to that energy of, you know, what originally with the King of Cups of, like, you know, maybe this masculine's been um, thinking about this at night. They're, they might be having some anxiety, some stress. Um, sadness. This person's crying. But the sun is rising out the window. It's a new day. Dawn has has arisen. But it's almost like this person's just literally been sitting there crying and going over and like stressing about all of this stuff like all night long. This masculine might like I don't know, maybe there's something about them like like staying up all night, like maybe they work at night. Maybe they think about you at work or they think about this connection. I don't know. I feel like for some, this masculine could have closed them, could have been closing themselves off to the feelings they were feeling about this Queen of Cups because of what they were told. Maybe for some reason it's hitting them right now. Can we, I'm going to switch decks for a second. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Y'all, that landed right on it. Do you see this? Do you see this? You see this crazy magic? My hand is shaking. It's the Five of Wands. They're conflicted. Why is the five of wands here? The two of swords, yeah, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They have to make a decision. They don't know what decision to make. And I feel like it's because, like, for some of you, maybe they're in some sort of karmic situation that they've invested a lot of time in. They're waiting for something. They're waiting for something. The seven of pentacles is here. It's like they're waiting for something they started to come in. The empress, are you kidding me? They're waiting for the Empress. They're waiting for the Empress to come in. They're waiting to bring clarity to the Empress. Damn, there's some there's some betrayal here. Hold up. What clarify the seven of pentacles and the empress, please? Can we not throw the cards at the incense? We have the page of cups, and it wanted to come out in the reverse. There's an apology that needs to be made. This masculine is trying to decide whether or not he wants to do that. There you go. He was given some poor advice in the past um, when it came to this connection. This is if only going to resonate if it, this is a past connection. Um, they walked away from this Queen of Cups and they're, they're wondering if they, maybe they just, maybe they're still thinking about them. Um, if this is a new connection, I wouldn't mess with this person. Avoid all of this. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, for like a lot of you, this is going to resonate as being a past connection. But I feel like this person... I don't know if this person's going to come in right now, to be honest with you. Like, it doesn't feel like they they have made a decision. And since the Page of Cups did want to come out in the reverse, it's like they know that they need to come in with an apology. But whether or not they're actually going to do that, I don't know. Um, time is fluid. Free will is a thing. Just because the cards say something may happen doesn't mean that it will. We're just reading on energy right now. Um, and potential. And potential is limitless. But I really feel like this person's been thinking about this Queen of Cups. Um... Maybe they're trying to decide if they should come in with an apology or what to say with with an apology. They may have been a little bit mature, immature, a little bit um, um, emotionally immature. This masculine might be younger than this feminine. doesn't have to be the case. Divine timing is at play. I just want to hold you. We're going to get some twin flame messages. Um, let me take what resonates. Leave the rest. 
Let me check my timer. Oh, my timer's gonna probably go off. Um, so I may have to pause in a second. Divine Masculine. And I know you are my twin. Are you kidding? So that could be it. Maybe this masculine didn't know. Maybe this masculine has realized who this feminine is. Maybe this masculine has realized that this feminine is their feminine. You took me by surprise. I know you are my twin. Will you give me another chance? Yeah, for real. For real. I think that's what they're wondering. I think that's what they're wondering. If they came back in with an apology, would this Queen of Cups give them another chance? Would she, would she put them out in this Five of Pentacles energy like they did to her? She's got some sort of intuition, intuitive knowing here. This um, Queen of Cups may be a reader themselves. They may be, um, for some, a mystic. Um, they could do runes. They read. There's a lot of books behind this person. There's a lot of knowledge. Something about the yin and the yang, too. Somebody here might be a cancer. Um, or Pisces. Somebody might be a Pisces, too. All right, let's get some messages. What would this masculine like to say since he's being very guarded? What does ma masculine like to say? Oh my. So the first we have divine timing is at play. I want to have a family with you. This separation is killing me, yeah. For some of you, if this is a past connection, I don't think you're in contact. It's definitely a separation. If you resonate with the divine partner, twin flame, higher level soulmate type of journey, you could be in a separation right now. Um, I definitely feel like this is a divine counterpart if you resonate with that journey. I wasn't planning to catch feelings. I have been hurt in my past. I never thought I would ever really find you. So maybe this masculine was like looking for their person and then they found their person and then they were like, maybe they were unsure because of something that happened in their past. And so they went to somebody that they trusted, maybe somebody in their spiritual community. It could have been a family member too, um, a family member that maybe is like really in, in touch with, for something, maybe they read the Bible a lot. Um, that's only going to resonate with, with, some. It's like some sort of, for some it's a book. They read some sort of book like all the time or often. Um, and this masculine trusted this person and they gave them um, the wrong advice. They told them that this, that this feminine was going to hurt them again. And I think that hurt. Maybe they went to a reader that they trusted. And the reader told them that the feminine was going to hurt them. And it hurt them. This masculine got heartbroken by whatever this high priest told them. And I think it has something to do with the fact that they were hurt in their past. There was outside interference. Yeah. There was this high priest. Could have been a high priestess. It's high priest or high priestess in the reverse, y'all. For real. For real. So the, they're like, <laughs> they're in that devilish energy. I daydream about you. I told you. I feel like it's when they're working. I feel like it's when they're at their job. That's when they think about you. Or the other way around. Apply how it resonates. This masculine thinks about this feminine when they're working, when they're at their job. Maybe that's like when they have time to think about, to contemplate things. We have loved before and we will love again. Whoa. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. So this feminine probably got hurt when this masculine walked away. Um, you know, like I said, 
it takes two to tango and you know it's there's always two people involved most relationships end and both people get hurt you know what i mean like that's usually how it goes it's rare that somebody doesn't get hurt in some way um unless they're like a total complete like robot i guess um you know but it doesn't really matter what anybody's like path is or journey is everybody has feelings um and can get hurt everybody has a soul i'm being told everybody has a soul you know i'm sorry i didn't mean to hurt you we already read that one i know you are my twin this literally came out three times so the number three could be a significant number for you 333 three, three for some the month of march for others um yeah this masculine knows now this masculine knows now that this per this queen of cups this feminine was is his twin is his feminine um his counterpart and i think that he's wondering like it's almost like how do i how do i reach how do i reach out now what do i say now maybe there's been a long time since the two of you have connected And then it's almost like, will they even answer? You know, will they even respond? And then what if they don't? Is it worth it? I don't know. That's just kind of like the energy that I'm getting from this masculine here. Um, let's get some light worker messages. We haven't done these in a really long time. And I want to. You don't have to resonate with being a light worker. Although if you are a part of this channel, this collective. Um, you probably are a light worker. Um, I'd like to take this moment to, I always forget to do this in the beginning and I'm sorry, but, um, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers, all the returning subscribers, non-subscribers. Um, all of your love and support really means the world to me and it helps the channel's growth. It does also help the messages get out to other people who may need to hear them as well. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much for all of the love and support. Um, it means the world to me. Um... There was something else that I wanted to say, and I just completely went away, and that rhymed. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. All right. I guess it'll come back to me if it was meant to be said. Let's move on here. The Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. For lifetimes. Join the song now. And it's gone. Hmm. All right. Um, we have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. So divine timely, divine timing is very strong, strongly at play right now, especially with that card coming out too. Um, the, the divine is very much guiding this um, connection here. We have Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So for some of you, I feel like this masculine might be, um, like I said, they might be having to release some karmic situations. Um, some karmic patterns. Alright, sorry, I'm just checking the timer on my oven. Um, so it's about to... It's about to go off. We have trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Intuition. Trust your intuition. Um, okay, what's another one? Let's do these. This is some divine doors. Okay. Whew. Okay, so the first one we have is morning memory. Its healing gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn, our inspired source. Meditate under the sun. Okay. Meditate under the sun. Freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. Secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and kind... Sorry, let me start over. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. That reminds me, I drew a picture. 
I forgot to show you in my channel messages. I drew a tree. I don't know why. I just, I draw this tree a lot. Um, and there's birds, there's seagulls. I don't know why there's seagulls. Um, and then the moon. So I don't know why I forgot to show you guys that, but it's interesting with the sketches one coming out here. We have sunset. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old chords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. Pass this card on. Okay, so maybe for some of you, meditating under the sun specifically to heal past wounds or to um, heal s some sort of wounding with past connections, that might be beneficial for you. There may be something about with like the sun um, and specifically meditating under the sun. Sorry. Meditating under the sun specifically for the reason of releasing the past or releasing the pain or whatever. That might be um, the golden ticket for some. There you go. That's your golden ticket. Um, we have begin here. Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now here. Pass this card on. Some of you, there might be distance between you guys. There may have to be, there may be something to do with travel. Um, maybe somebody needs to take a vacation, get some sun, especially if you're watching this at the time of upload, we are in the winter season. So maybe um, somebody needs some vitamin D. There's a sense of like, I'm getting like the full card here. Like there's a leap of faith that's required. We have the Odyssey. Take in the beauty of country, lands, and bounty. Explore the wonder like a tra gypsy traveler's odyssey. For real. Um, so there's... Somebody either travels or there's like a push to travel or somebody's going on vacation or needs to go on vacation or there's something like that. Like, I, I feel like this is like a green light. I'm getting green light. Green light, go. Green light, go. There's some movie where it's like animal... It's, I think they're dogs or something and they're sitting at the light and it's something like um green means go green means go like the dog is just he has like 88 ADD or something like that or his mind just like goes really really fast um and then hit you can hear his thoughts and he's just like green light go green light go green light go that's what I'm getting right now we have divine guardian do not be nervous today or tonight the path you are on will lead you just right yeah I, I feel like um for whoever needs to hear this especially if you resonate with this masculine energy here the divine is definitely like um this is all divinely guided and i feel like you know um if you're worried about being on the right path or the wrong path just remember there is no path there's just you know for some there are paths that are smoother and some where there's paths that are less you know a little bit more rocky you just get different experiences on different paths sometimes it takes a little bit longer to reach the destination depending on what path you're on but at the end of it at the end of all of them is the same destination so you know don't beat yourselves up so much about whether you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing it's more about the experiences anyway that's that's what that's the whole point of it. it's a learning journey that's how you learn is by experiencing things um and unfortunately not all of the things are pleasant um my oven is about to beep, so I'm going to pause real quick and go get my food. One second. I'm back. Da, 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 da. All right, guys. Um, thank you for your patience. Hey, look, the next one is patience. I'm going to um, probably pull one more card after this and then end it because um, dinner's almost ready and I'm hungry and I need to feed my kid. Um, so, yeah. We have a cure for longing. Wait, did I read patience? I did not. My bad. Patience, everything will soon come to light, and then you will see things will be all right. Pass this card on, yeah. I kind of feel like this masculine might be waiting for some sort of, like, sign, or maybe, like, from the divine or something like that, but they're waiting for, it's, like, almost like they're waiting for the light to turn green. That's probably why I was getting that message of the dog, because that's what they were doing. They were sitting on the, they were standing on the sidewalk waiting to cross the street, but they couldn't because the light was red, and so he kept saying in his head, green means go, green means go, and as soon as it was green, they were like, Psh, and they took off. Um, that's kind of how I feel like with this masculine, like he's waiting for his green light. A cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. Wow. That's very, 
definitely a love reading guys all right let's end this with a soul's truth oracle um i love this deck i want to give it a quick shuffle rooney though not my painting over oh, i'm gonna put those back i was gonna take them and then i was told to put them back so we're gonna put those back we're gonna shuffle shuffle one more time I really like these cards, as I was saying, um, if you do, if you are working on shadow, um, shadow work, um, or if you do journaling, things like that, these are really good journaling and shadow work prompts. Um, all right, so let's get a message or two, please. What does the viewer need to know most? Are we taking that one? Okay, let's take that. Let's keep going. Though. Okay. Okay, this is so fitting, especially considering the King of Cups. Like, Because I got the King of Cups in the channeled messages. The King of Cups was the first card that we got out. This card right here is very fitting. I feel like this is the perfect card. What are the dominant emotions that run my life? How do you feel your day? Stress or joy? Trust or anger? Anxiety or peace. We have only today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. Today's soul action, lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? There you go. You are enough. Let me say it again. You are enough. You, just being you, by yourself, on your own, independently, your crazy, weird, authentic, eccentric self, whatever you want to classify yourself as. You're amazing. You are amazing. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that, okay? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? That means, like, are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to, like, be a millionaire in order to feel successful? Do you have to, like, can you let go of the belief that you have to have a connect a relationship that's X, Y, and Z in order to feel loved or be, have the feeling of being in love. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Journaling, shadow work. All right, y'all. Those are all the messages that I have for you. I really hope that they were helpful and that they resonated. Don't forget to hit <laughs> Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I do try to post very often. Um, so if you don't want to miss out on any of the new uploads, make sure that you subscribe. I hope that you have a wonderful day or night or whenever it was that you were tuning in to this reading. And I will see you in the next one.